The United Nations planning to hold its annual General Assembly. About two-thirds of the 193-member nation will be represented in person, including an appearance by President Biden, his first at the U.N. since taking office. The Assembly will focus on two major efforts, efforts to combat climate change and the pandemic. President Biden is expected to talk about COVID-19, climate change, and human rights abuse. Joining us now on News Nation to talk about the president's address to the assembly is international affairs experts Barry Nussbaum. Barry, thanks for being with us. Good to be with you tonight. So we just talked about, we just mentioned what President Biden could be saying. What do you expect from these meetings and what should we as Americans expect to come out of these meetings? I think the overriding theme without question is Biden will be in New York on Tuesday to address the General Assembly, as you said, and his theme will be a brand new policy uh, regarding the rest of the world different from Trump. I think the opening theme is, hello, I'm the president of the United States and I'm not Donald Trump. I think it'll encourage a very positive response from the UN who Trump had stepped back from and tried to hold to account. And they don't like that at the General Assembly. Biden is an internationalist. He will get along great with them. And I think there's going to be several key points that he will make in that speech that he'll read from his prompter. China is always a country that gets brought up when we're talking about the United States and foreign affairs. How is Biden perceived in China, and what do you think these meetings could bring up as far as the relationship between the United States and China? I think there's no doubt that China is thrilled that Biden is president of the United States and more thrilled that Trump is not president of the United States. He's perceived internationally as weak. And when you have a superpower that wants to be the superpower, i.e. China, they will lean on him even stronger than they have in the preliminary meetings over the past months. Biden has a lot of explaining to do, not only to China, but he's got to explain to our allies what the heck happened in Kabul. Because it wasn't just the United States that was left behind billions of dollars in equipment, personnel, our supporters, and so on. But quite frankly, uh, a third of the world was there, I mean, our allies, and we spent with them billions, and they're all condemning Biden's withdrawal as a runaway abandonment. He's got to make that right with them in order to calm down the Western powers that are our allies. China, obviously, is on the other side of the fence, and they're probably thrilled with Biden right now. Barry, thank you so much for giving us a little insight of what's going to happen at the U.N. this week. Thank you.